What's happening, you guys? Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button. It don't cost you nothing, player. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little notification bell. Next to the subscribe button, YouTube will let you know every time I drop a video. Let's go. All right, you guys. Today, we're going to talk about Mozzie. Mozzie and CML Lavish D. Everyone knows who CML and Mozzie is. Um, both rappers from Sacramento. If you guys don't know who they are, they've both been feuding. For a very long time, not just on no rap stuff, man, but on some real hood stuff, man. These dudes' neighborhoods been going at it since uh, before time. You feel what I'm saying? And they just these two dudes just happen to be rappers. So uh, I dropped some content, some videos about some times that um, you know we got into it with Mozzie's homies. If you haven't checked that video out, go check it out. It's um. Titled Mozzie, a riot with Mozzie, DVI Tracy, something, something like that. Just go through my videos, you'll find it. Uh, and CML seen the video, he responded to my video. But that that's not what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about their, their ties to Stockton. Stockton, California, right? It's about 30 minute drive south of Sacramento. Depending how fast you drive, 45 minute drive, 25 minute drive, you feel me? But uh, these Sacramento's not too far from Stockton. Um, I be in both cities a lot. And these two prominent rappers, fit these figures, these dudes are um, are big dogs. You know what I'm saying? Not just in their sections, in California. You know, Mozzie is a, a well-known rapper. And he has a lot of ties to the city of Stockton. Same thing with CML Lavish D. Lavish D has ties with uh, the West Side Bloods from Stockton. Typically, predominantly in Asian hood, there's blacks there too. And they're clicked up. The Asians and blacks out there, they're clicked up. Shout out to the West Side Bloods. And they have uh, this rapper that go by the name of Bounce Back Meek. That's their little, their, their crew. It's called Bounce Back. The Bounce Back Boys. And Bounce Back Me is tapped in, linked in with uh, CML Lavish D. See, the West Side. And then CML also has affiliates from the East Side of Stockton. Um, from, from the Filbert Arms area. He's a crip by the name of GTP, General the Pimp. See, so CML has ties in the East Side of Stockton with the Crips. And he has ties with the West Side Bloods in Stockton. Mozzie has ties with the south side and the north side of Stockton. He has ties with MB, the rapper MB Nell, who's from South Stockton, and who's linked in with all of South Stockton, Bloods and Crips. Uh, historically, the whole south side rides together. And so, um, yeah, man, Mozzie's tapped in with them. Also, Mozzie's tapped in with the north side of Stockton, which is Crips, Asian Boys. Asian boys, Crip Gang from Stockton. Um, shout out to the ABZ. Shout out my guys. Uh, TC Low is one of them. Free TC Low. TC Low was signed actually to Nano, who is the president of Livewire Records, and he's the manager he for Mozzie Records. He Nano does management for Mozzie Records. He's a Latino dude, and he um, managed. This rapper from North Stockton, Asian boys named T.C. Low, And uh, so that's how Mozzie's linked in with them. You feel what I'm saying? You see the connection now? Because MB now is clicked up with the North Side Asian boys. A lot of people will say he's from Asian boys. I don't think he's from Asian boys. He's just from a South Side crew or hood out there in South Stockton. But they're, 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 they're linked up with the North Side Asian boys. And the South Side... And the North Side Crips from Stockton funk with the West Side Bloods, the same dudes that CM Mouse uh, clicked up with. You you see the ties now? You guys you guys following me? You guys following me? You got the North Side and the South Side clicked up with who which which is also who Mozzie's clicked up with to go against the West Side, who happened to be the guys that CM Mouse clicked up with. You feel what I'm saying? They're playing chess, man, not checkers. Uh. Anyone that knows anything can peep this from a from afar. It's 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 just out there already. Uh, 
yeah, man, these dudes, when when I start seeing them doing music with all these dudes, I'm like, okay, so CML doing music with the Bloods from Stockton, the West Side niggas, okay, okay, that's right. And then, boom, I see Mozzie go do music with the Asian boys from the North Side. I'm like, ooh, okay, that's a chess move right there on Mozzie's behalf. CML went and did music with the Bloods. Mozzie said, okay, boop, boop, nigga, what, you gonna do that play? I'm gonna do this play. Tap in with the Asian boys from Stockton. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. They're, they're, they're really tapped in out, out there in Stockton, man. Uh, like I said, um, General the Pimp. General the Pimp. Y'all know who General the Pimp is from East Stockton? He's a crip. Man, go check out his music. Bro, go crazy, too. He be really insane, though. You feel me? Really out there in them streets, man. He a real one. He ain't just no rapper, man. GTP is a real one. I heard about bro already. And I think he's actually signed a lab, man. Matter of fact, last video I seen, or one of the videos I seen of his, uh, he had a banked up chain. So, yep, he most definitely signed to uh, to laugh, to banked up, which is, you feel me, CML's record label. Shout out them guys, man. I thought I'd just bring this to y'all because, uh, you know, and TC Lowe was going crazy too, man, before he got locked up. I think he got like 17 years or some shit for a shooting. So, you know, them dudes wasn't they wasn't playing out here. They ain't just rappers, man. Well, like I'm saying, man, these dudes, some of these dudes ain't just rappers, bro. Some of these dudes is really living that life what they rap about. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Don't take these dudes lightly, man. Don't take anyone lightly at that, man, because you never know what could happen. You feel me? The sorriest, most suckiest nigga out there could knock you down. You feel what I'm saying, though? Nigga, I'm just saying, though, you feel me? <laughs> just stay on your ten toes, my nigga, and keep it solid. And uh, what y'all think about that Kendrick Lamar album, though? It, it, that shit, to get on my, my music shit, you feel me? But that nigga got a, he got a message in his shit, but I don't know if I'm going to be riding around slapping that. I'm going to just keep it 100. It's cool. It's a, it's a good album. I, I listen to about five, six songs, and... uh but I'm not the type. I don't know. That's just like my cup, not my cup of tea. You feel me? To me, I'm going to keep it all the way 100. Kendrick Lamar is the black Eminem. I'm just keeping it solid. I'm just keeping it solid, my nigga. Kendrick Lamar is the black Eminem. And I for sure ain't slapping no damn Eminem, my nigga. You would not catch me riding down the street with a real slim shady. Please stand up. Please. Like, no, nigga, no. We ain't doing that. You feel me? And so Kendrick is the, is the motherfucking... Uh, uh, Black Eminem, you feel me? Man, make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. If you want more content like this, let me know. It's your guy.